You're now listening to the minor flight boss, the Archangel Uriel, and Delo here to care our God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. I just got a quick question, real quick. Somebody wanted to know. Um, I just got an email real fast. Somebody wanted to know how to actually perceive frequency vibrations as far as it playing out through the physical, the human vessel. Frequency vibrations. All right. Now you need to understand this. Frequency can be high and low, and vibrations can be high or low. So they have their own separate higher lows. You see what I'm saying? Now what exactly a frequency is, a frequency is like your spirit, your thought, your idea, your space, your line of events, your timeline, what's constantly on your mind, your thoughts and things of that nature. That's your that's your frequency. Vibration is your seconds, your your experience, your movement, your emotion, your emotion, your ability to move within the realm of reality. So it's your emotions and feelings, basically. That's your vibrations. So reason why both of these interchange is because when a frequency, you can have a high or low frequency. That means high ideas or low ideas. You see what I'm saying? Or mid-range ideas, like that would be like the common ideas, right? Vibration is the feeling and emotion you give to it. You can give high emotions and feelings to it, low emotions and feelings to it, or com or the common emotions and feelings to it. Now, the idea could be an idea, but it, it don't have no power or that timeline or that line of events won't be experienced unless you put it through a realm of reality, a.k.a. add emotions and feelings to it. Then that makes it a light. That makes it spark. It gives it a spirit. It gives it legs to walk on. You know what I'm saying? Then if it matter long enough, which if you put enough energy into it, a.k.a. spark light, a.k.a. frequency vibration, if you ex keep experiencing that, then it's going to matter. Then that matter is going to become solid. Then it's going to become energy. Now, you could be a person who got high frequencies, but vibrate really low. That's a person who got a lot of good ideas, a lot of smart ideas and things of that nature. You got high frequencies, but you never implement them. You never emotionally carry them out. You never feel no way about them. You just let them pass and go. That's a person who got high frequencies, but vibrating very low. A person who's vibrating high with low frequencies, with the frequencies on a low frequency, that would be a person who had a bunch of emotions and feelings into everything expressing everything but it with a bunch of dumb thoughts a bunch of dumb ideas now you need to understand this too your thoughts and feelings are not yours so when you get a thought when you catch a thought these are not yours so as without so within it could be a a being within you like a blood cell or something that's giving off that thought and emotion or it could be something outside of you a person place or thing or spirit or oversoul or some or planet or something giving you giving you that thought, emotion, and feeling, right? And, it, and as above, so below. So what that means is when you get a thought, you catch a thought, right? Whatever frequency level you was on, all the beings that was ever vibrating on that frequency, those are the thoughts you're going to be receiving. So you're going to be, you're going to be receiving thoughts and ideas from beings that was vibrating low on that frequency, and, and beings who was vibrating high or having a comment on that frequency, depending on whatever your idea is, whatever you're trying to figure out, get out of from that information that you went into, that in that form that you went in. See what I'm saying? Now, your thoughts and feelings and emotions is when the moment you catch a thought, you catch a feeling, your ability to resist or see if it resonates. Then that little orb that comes in between that thought and feeling, that's that's going to be your thought and feeling that you put out into the universe. So any being that was vibrating on that frequency will be able to receive your thought and many other beings' thoughts and things of that nature. So this is how you can be received as a vessel because you can get a thought and an idea, you catch it right, and it's not yours. And if you claim it and you start to claim what it is and this that and third, you put emotions and feelings. You think it's you because of all the language and the things that you are under, but really you're being used as a vessel by something else. And then once that thing come and go, and then you, it, you, you will know that wasn't you because you'll be placed in circumstances and situations that's dealing with frustration, not knowing what to do next. Why did I put myself in this situation? Should I have done this? When you're in those questions and those realms of reality, that's when you know you've been used by a vessel or oversoul and it had left your body for a minute and left you clueless for a second and left you lost for a second until you receive another being or that same being from that 
from that frequency vibration. You see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> you got people who got hot, high frequencies and high vibrations and low frequencies and low, low vibrations. So, there's no right or wrong to either way. It's just once you know this, now you have to know how to utilize it for your life. Okay. So, you have to know how to utilize it for your, for your life. So, for an example, say I may have a, look, the high vibrations and frequencies cause transformation, rapid transformation. So, it could cause death, but we know death ain't a bad thing. We know transformation is creation. Something has to be transformed in order to be created. Low vibrations and low frequencies cause stagnation, stability. So, it's a foundation. It's the ability to be fixated on something and see it way through. But it also could play into a, a, a stagnated energy, to a stable, unmoving, to, to something be too solid, solid, it won't be able to move or transform. So nothing can be created out of that. That's a person being stuck in a rut, a person who's vibrating very low. You see what I'm saying? You, you won't be able to create nothing out of your manifest, out of your imagination. You won't be able to manifest and attract anything with stable energy. So you have to be, you have to go up and down always. But once you know this is what you're doing, your way of doing it now, will best apply to your elements and yourself. The better you know how to get with it, the better you, you're going to know how to play jump rope. It's really all about jump rope. And when you look at a frequency vibration, frequency, line. The vibration, when it's a, when it's a frequency is alive, it vibrates. Now I got legs to stand on. And I, the, the more it can bounce up and down, the more it can start to manifest more in, into the dimension that it's in. So you have to, this is how you manifest. The more you know how to jump rope, jump, jump a rope, the right way. You see what I'm saying? And and you need friction to bounce, or it becomes, or the or the vibration to become stagnated in a little way. You know what I'm saying? So if you're trying to manifest something, you need to. You see, you see what I'm saying? So for an example, this goes into law of attraction and everything. Law of attraction: opposites always attract. So when you attract the opposite, your ability to resist it and handle the opposite is your ability to make the vibration bounce higher. So so law of, that's law of attraction. When people want to say uh opposites attract and law of attraction, that's a whole separate thing than manifesting. So it's a whole separate thing. But they work they work hand in hand. Now um that's like when you have a basketball. The more force you give the bounce the basketball, the 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 further it's gonna bounce. So that's like vibrating. You know what I'm saying? How much you can handle. How much you can resist, how much you can take in, and how much you can push back out. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you step into a vibration you can't handle, you can't take that much in that situation, or you can't push that much out in that situation, aka it'll play out like a situation you, that you can't handle, or something that might be overwhelming, or something you gotta go through long distance in the arm and the leg just to take care of that situation. That's how it'll play out. But the more and more you know how to jump rope and take it little by little based upon your natural nature or whatever like that, the better you'll understand what I'm talking about. And you will see it as a jump rope the way I see it. Because, you know, I'm just a spirit. I'm archangel. When I come into realms of reality, it just it look like people playing jump rope. It look like people's spirits playing jump rope. So I jump in and jump out from time to time. Y'all ever watch, uh, <laughs> Don't Be a Menace while drinking up juice in the hood when they was initiating each other in the game. <laughs> and you thought they was about to jump a man, but they started jump roping and shit. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that kind of shit. Flight boss bitch, you know, for sure. 